Hi guys. Where have you been? Been to the library actually. Oh really? I'm a bit suspicious. Right, I figured it out, okay. Girls love to talk about themselves and even more, girls love guys talking about them. So all I need to do is learn about Madalena and then, ka-ching, I'm in. Oh yes, you have us figured out the way to a woman's heart. So easy. <laughs> yeah, I've done it. The ultimate riddle for men, the woman's mind. Alert the media, this is an historic breakthrough. Breaking news. A young English man has figured out the way to a woman's heart. And amazingly, it's through their ears. Terry's theory is that girls love hearing and talking about themselves. Who the hell is that? Well, don't worry, he's just my friend. He finished his degree in broadcast journalism and now he can't find a job. So he goes around reporting news wherever he can. News just in. I'm a pathetic graduate who plays out his fancy of being a news anchor in the house of his friends. Please don't tell my girlfriend, she will leave me. No, please, leave that alone. Please. Excuse me, viewers, we are currently experiencing some technical difficulties. Look, mate, it's not even real. Just speak to me. News just in. Due to my severe lack of social skills and very short legs, I'd rather stay seated and speak like this. Look, this isn't going to help. I need to get learning. It's useless. Books just make me sleepy. And what the hell is going on with that light bulb? What do you mean? <laughs> it's giving off the light of a wet candle. It's an energy saving bulb. What? You just need to give it a chance to warm up, mate. Warm up? It's not a bloody Olympian. God said let there be light and there was. You didn't have to wait for a pathetic dull glow. Only God in my own home and when I want light, damn it, I want to flick the light switch and shout, and there was! Well, you better get used to it, because pretty soon that's all you're going to be able to get. Breaking news. In an attempt to reduce everybody's carbon footprint, energy-efficient light bulbs will completely replace traditional bulbs by 2010. This is part of the EU's ongoing environmental mission. If everybody switches to these new bulbs, then energy used in lighting could be reduced by 60%. That's equivalent to a saving of around 30 million tonnes of CO2 each year. So this little change can make everyone a little bit green. Did he say the EU? Yes, the EU, your government and mine, have decided to ban normal incandescent bulbs by 2010. That is why we're using this energy signal. Well, that's ridiculous. They're fake. And they, <laughs> they can't just take away normal light bulbs. Where was my saying this? Well, it's too late. I'm sorry. If you can complain to your local MEP if you want, but I doubt it will change anything. OK, what, what is all this about MEPs? Members of European Parliament, you should really try to follow more politics. And it's not pathetic. I don't know if you have realised, but there are many people who are very concerned about climate change. I mean, are you completely ignorant? <laughs> Blissfully, thank you. That bulb is really starting to annoy me. Oh, look. Ever heard of the Kyoto Protocol? Is that something to do with ping pong? The Kyoto Protocol is an international environmental treaty aiming to stabilise greenhouse gases. This is what it's all about. Large projects like this designed to curb our carbon footprint. Light bulbs may seem like a small unnecessary part, but really they're part of something much bigger. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Why the hell did you do that? Wind farms are just one way. 
The EU's aim is to get one-fifth of all its energy from renewable sources by 2010 and to use low or zero carbon technologies in order to set an example for the rest of the world. In order to reduce our energy use, we have to improve how we use energy. The EU wants us to lead by example. So what are you doing to do your bit? That's all well and good. Go green! Woo! Down to carbon! The EU also tackles problems such as deforestation and illegal logging. The European Principles for the Environment, or EPE, is an initiative launched in order to unify the EU member states on their approach to the environment. No, sorry. I I thought she was a squirrel. Oh dear lord. <laughs> oh come on Mr. Squirrel, you little greedy boy. You're not going to be able to deal with all those nuts. <laughs> oh, you should be listening to this. This is stuff you can impress Madalena with. Come on! Hey Madalena, uh, just thought I'd give you a ring. I hope this is your real number. Anywho, I was just thinking about the ways in which the EU are tackling climate change. You know they're banning normal light bulbs because energy saving ones are so much greener. And um, they're en route to their Kyoto Protocol targets and like, uh, um, oh yeah, and you know wind has energy too. Thank you for phoning Terry and uh, keep on learning. Bye bye.